Make sure we win, we work hard, and that's all I'm asking. I'd like you to tell them, who is Hero? I'm an actor. Oh my! Oh, you got it. The reason I watch the Dons is because we, we, we're like, oh, I want to do that. Told you they don't like you! When you're doing modelling, you're doing acting, you're not actually being Hero, you're being becoming somebody mm -hmm. else. That's your final walk! If I weren't nervous, that'd be that'd be even more weird. The acting's done now! The acting's done now! This is terrible, bro. This is not how you treat a guest, man. But this is why we love it, because anyone can get it. When they miss, they miss. When they hit, they hit. No one says sorry today. You make it f***ing horrible for them. Let me tell you this now. Nothing we're going to get in our lives is for free. Big up Football Escapes, because you've been putting me on. New faces in the building, and working with the kids in the community. Oh my god. And welcome to shit. another episode of Trench Work. We've got some big faces in the building. We've got Steve Sidwell. We've got Carlton Cole. And we've got the crook. Ain't you heard? <laughs> big faces in the building. <laughs> welcome to the Medeski. Coley, who's been your best partner in crime up top? Or in that role behind you, in that tender? Um, I used to love playing with Dean Ashton. Um, but really and truly, when I first started at Chelsea, I was playing up front. Sometimes I played with Hasselbank, but I used to love playing with Zola. Why is that? Because he'd always, there's a little magician in it. He'll always find me, I'll move, I'll be the, pit, the linchpin up front, and then he'll just work off me. 100% record so far. It's not like you. This <laughs> 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 is uh, right, England international geese. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit disappointed. The boys told me we were bringing Kitson out. <laughs> But where is it? What ground has got the best memories for you? <laughs> you hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't be saying that. I didn't say it, I didn't even hear it. He's bringing... I'm already legend. I'm he's bringing... Why are you... I'm already legend. Why are you bringing Kitson in involved in this? Kitson? Kitson? Oh, I knew he's, like, he's, coming, he's, he's kitson me off. <laughs> well, probably Everton. Really? Yeah, Goodison Park. When that place is rocking... Especially like when you're... Listen, I never played for Everton, but... When you play there as an away team, yeah. you know as soon as you walk out for the warm up, it's hostile, Come fans are at it. And if you win there, yeah. they're respectful as well, they clap you off. Really? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah they do. And, and Anfield as well, Liverpool, they're exactly the same. So if you go there and you win, you know you've done well. I don't give a shit. Hey, let's start this off penalty challenge. No pressure, I'll play in front of 90,000. Okay. I'll play in front of 90,000. Oh, this is Cole, send you. I get why it's called football escapes. Makes you want to escape football. But this is now, this is business. This is the business end. Football escapes. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, he ain't him diving now. Finish. Look, he's just guessing. What sort of keeper are you? Anyone can sh anyone can shuffle along. <laughs> anyone can shuffle along. It's got your number, Geese. It's got your number. It's got your number. Oh. Oh, he hit lovely and true, didn't he? He hit lovely and true. I told you at the start. Welcome to the Medici. Ain't listening. Oh! 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 I don't care if we're playing at home or if we're playing here. It's the same intensity. We've got to f***ing want it more. Oh, come on, it's getting silly now. I've gone the right way every time. I must say you're quite good. <laughs> but not good enough. You've got a face for radio. I'll let you think about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pundit. Talk sports best pundit. He shut you that up, didn't he? One of the worst penalties and one of the worst saves I've seen. <laughs> he shut you up, didn't he? Oh Talk sports God. best pundit. Have some respect. Talk sports best pundit. He's giving me that one. I love that. He's not. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're gonna have to go and get it. No, you haven't. And that's cheating. How is that cheating? cheating. There's no whistle. You're talking to your boy. I know. Literally, you turn around and shot. That's the whole point. Hey, quick one, man. Oh, oh, wow. Hey, Ralph Ragnick's watching. Oh, wow. Ralph, that's Ralph's watching, you know. Ralph Ragnick's watching. Last Ralph one. Ragnick's watching. Yeah, last one. Jürgen Klopp. Oh, leave me alone, man. Bro, I'm just saying Jürgen Klopp. Can you see him? 
Go by that. Yeah, you're good. Who wants to blow the whistle this time for him? Let's go. There you go. Oh, that's a good hand. Hey, what a save. You've been, you've been on fire today. I'll give that's you that. a very good hand. Save. I gave him it. Save three, scored two. But that's what was that? Sorry, you scored. Hold on, what is it working to? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give you a want good football knowledge, right? Ask well, a question. Terrible football knowledge. <laughs> number nine for Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. How did you end up with that number nine shirt? Actually? So when I went there, I went on a free transfer. So they spent a lot of money beforehand. I went on a tree, uh, free transfer. Me, Tao Benahim, Claudio Pizarro. I thought I was going to get the number 14 shirt because Jeremy just left to go Newcastle. And he gave me the number nine shirt. But I think it was my game at the start. He went to me, you got the number nine shirt. And I was like, yeah, all right, no problem. What, you didn't think to yourself like, gaff, Yeah, but like, you never know what he's thinking. Gaff, you never know what he's thinking. He's thinking, uh, if I say no, he's, is he like, he don't fancy, he's not up yeah. to the challenge. So um, I was, I was like, should, I love it. What you should have done, you should have said yes to start off with and go to the kit man, listen. <laughs> no, yeah, but I did, yeah, I've done that. I've done that. Listen, I've done that, but we flew to LA and the kit's already printed up. He made, it, <laughs> he made his mind up already. <laughs> You've managed to carve out a career for yourself yeah. at the top level. Yeah. So what was it about your game that so, allowed you to get there? So you got like two types of like players. Obviously everyone's talented to a degree, right? And then you got sort of natural talent. So you, you compare someone like James Milner, for instance, that just li literally works his craft, determination, professional. That was the same as me. Like, I couldn't be the one in ones that could just switch it on and off. But like the, for a build up to a game. Yeah. I had to be on it Monday to Friday, train hard every single day to know that when it comes to game day, I was on it. And I just literally just got every ounce out of my ability. When Nalu Kerbishley came to West Ham, like I'd, I'd like take, I'd say when I was before that, I was taking like two, three days, just take coasting in training. And he goes, listen, Coley, you can't switch it on and off, you're not that good. Yeah? <laughs> 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 and you're thinking, I'm thinking, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like, ego's hurt. Yeah. But then I thought about it, when I even thought about it, I was thinking, do you know what? Yeah, he's right. Mm. If you're training the way you play, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, more than likely the game will become easier for you. Love that. Sick. All right. Team touch finishing. Let's get it. You got kit, man. Crystal Palace I don't legend. Give a shit. I'm in session. We're starting from now. <laughs> Footballer! Footballer! Oh. Oh. He's making G look professional. Tuck him in. Oh. Ralph Ragnick's watching. watching. George, where's the water at? Aye, right, aye, there is no water. Don't give your dad no water. No one's allowed water in trench They call me the camel. Yeah, there's no water allowed till the session's done. Hey, hey, hey! No, I never! No, I f Oh, my God! He's like, he's even got someone having drinks. Yeah, he zipped it, he zipped it, he zipped it. Chelsea's number nine! Chelsea's number nine! No, no. Chelsea's number nine! Chelsea's number nine! Hey, I'm fine with that. I like that one, so. Chelsea's number nine! Chelsea's number nine! Chelsea's number nine! Hey, does anyone here support Chelsea? Hey, does anyone here support Chelsea? Chelsea's number nine. Nah. We spent all our money this window. We've got six in Rowan. Oh! Did he spend any money? <laughs> anyone looking for a chance? Chelsea's number nine. Chelsea's number nine. Stop it. Stop it. I think we need to step up the game here. I was looking at something the other day with Pep Guardiola. Yeah. And uh, the, I think it was the one of the reporters was asking him, he goes, oh, do you join in? Because he used to be a baller, isn't it? Proper baller. Yeah. And um, he says, nah, I can't join in with these lot. I'll bring the session low. And then he goes, um, if I was to join in, I would embarrass myself and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> you look at Klopp, Mourinho, um, Pep Guardiola, they haven't just rested on the laurels from five, six years ago and gone, right, that work then, they've had to adapt. continue growing and adapt and, you know, players that are coming in. So as long as they've got that mindset to do that, because the ones that don't and they get stuck in a ways, they get found out. Yeah. You've got to be, yeah, you've got to be, you've got to be in a move. The world's moving, isn't it? Mm. So you've got to move with it. All right. 
Talking about moving on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Halfway line, Bristol City away. Ooh. We're gonna go through it. Alex Mitchell, hey, catch that penalty spot. And it's straight away. Alison Crooker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he's gone for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my days. Yeah. Push. Ain't you heard? Oh. Ain't you heard? <laughs> well, oh. Wait, if I'm at the line touching and you're shooting, it makes no sense. Oh. He's gone for it as well. Why is he going for that? No war. He's being pushed to his limits. He's being pushed to his limits. I don't know how much more he can take. Ah! Uh -uh. No, wait, wait. Don't concede anymore. He's being pushed to his limits. That was brilliant. Oh, that, was still. that was hard. Ooh. But I, I've always admired goalkeepers still. Let me ask you a question. Can't yeah. What does it feel like? What are you thinking when you know it's going in and you think, I can get that, and you go, oh, I didn't get it. it oh, it's horrible. Goalkeepers, when we do training sessions, we do hundreds of shots. Catch it, parry, get low, get up, down, whatever. So we get into a mentality where we sometimes do four saves in one set. So in that four, we might set, miss the first one, then we save the next three. So we have this box that we are taught to have, which is like anything negative that happens in a game, take it out, it's gone. Some people, they have a sip of water, that's it, done, gone. Some people kick a post, touch a crossbar, done. So it's being able to go, all right, I'm ready for the next one. What if it's not going up against me and you know I'm arms and, arms and elbows? Yep. Are you worried? No, because... Does he look worried? <laughs> no, but I'm saying... You're six foot six, so I'm only no, six foot. I'm saying you're a big man, you're a big man, right? Yeah, yeah. You start leaning in. Yeah, so I'm like that, I'm you're pinning leaning you. In, you're leaning in, fine. Yeah. You're doing what you're doing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just the one. I can't make the contact too early yeah. because it will alert the referee yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, I'll use people like yourself, Mitch, in between, and I'll use him as my barrier, yeah. and I'll push through here. Yeah, Do you remember the Jens Lehmann? Yeah. Mm. Played against, uh, gave me a scar up here. I don't know if I got it still. It's faint. But, uh, <laughs> but what it was, he, when he used to come out, I used to go, obviously, you'll be the striker, yeah. and you're coming in, and I'm coming for the ball, but he used to go up, and then leave his leg out like that. Like that? Yeah. And then, obviously, back in them days, it was, it was metal studs. Yeah. And then he, the amount of other strikers I talked talk to, that he'd done it to, and he's got a scar up here, there, there, yeah. where. Thank you so much for today, man. I'd like to... Uh, one, one penalty with the uh, Cole yeah. Junior, Cole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we've got to, we've got to. Come on, boys. So this is... Lenny Sidwell. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Cody Cole. <laughs> penalty challenge, boys. One each. You hit top bins, I'm going home. Let's get it cracking. So you just bought last night? Oh, oh, oh was it? Look. It's your future or his? Oh. <laughs> like I said, it's your future or his? The AFCON qualifiers are started. The AFCON qualifiers are started. Both futures on the line. They say Uganda's in the easiest group. The young boy and the old man. They say Uganda's in the easiest Both group. Both of your futures on the line here. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Hey, that might have cost you your spot, G. I wish you all the best in your future, boys. Hey, pleasure. Absolute pleasure. I wish you all the best. That was trench work. Thank you for watching. Keep subscribing, keep liking and commenting. We're going to the very top, man. Thank you for your time. It's all about hard work. It's every day that you can uh, come up against a couple of Premier League uh, footballers and get insightful knowledge. Not that he needs it. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to. But um, it's all about hard work. That's it. Hard work, dedication.
He's desperate for water as well. Look, get on that. No, no, you have it. You have it. He brought one over, you know. He brought one over. He didn't. He wanted for himself. You got to say. No, that was really good. Yeah, this is a really, really eye-opening experience. You got someone that's battering you, yeah? Trying to get in your head, trying to play mind games, and you're still trying to do the drills. And um, yeah, he was brilliant today. So, bravo to the big man. When Dukesy says, for example, Big G's gonna get that call up. I yeah, believe like, him. Finish it. And again, and again. Yeah, like. When he says this is the future England skipper, believe me. Nice throw. Oh. Like, comment, and subscribe. Charlie Patino.